Hello, my name is uh, Cornell Johns. i um, from Jamestown, New Mexico, by way of um, Church Rock, New Mexico. I've been playing music for, um, pretty much all my life. Um, there's been uh, differences in tastes and genres through the years, but uh, through it all I've maintained uh, a really good integrity of um, certain elements of uh, country music, blues, and rock. Um, there's a lot of influence that I've had over the years, um, but one thing that really probably does truly stick out will probably be the uh, the country genre and the um, blues rock genre that seems so dear to me in many aspects of music. Um, when I was younger, you know, I would um, go through uh, certain record collections that my uh, my father had and my aunts and uncles and would um, just fumble through uh, album covers and different things and be inspired by um, really good bands. Um, as I like to say, some of the uh, local scene that was brewing around here also that really had a lot of uh, influence on me also. Um, just differences of uh, music that I really like, um, what it means and how I can you know transfer ideas and sounds that I hear in my head through my hands and my writing and my guitar. And that's what really rings true for me. Uh, Twain Deluxe uh, came about uh, as really um, what um, in the music business we like to call side projects. Because whatever band that you're involved in, um, sometimes you may have uh, contractual issues or you may have um, um, differences within the band to where like, you want to kind of get out and express uh, a different side of music that probably you wouldn't normally be a part of and for me it was just you know getting out and doing some great songs um, particularly uh, original stuff a um, little bit more um, different from the previous groups that you've been in and Twain Deluxe came about in the um, summer of uh, 2009 um, it is brought together by my brother and I whom I played music with uh, pretty much all my life also you know a good drummer and different aspects of um, music that he's into too and the, all the influences that he um, brought to the fold and the I guess the challenge in Twain Deluxe is to, to be able to maintain a full sound with three guys in, in a power trio setting and Twain Deluxe's um, first show was um, an eye-opener I guess on the industry the local scene and even for us we were taken by surprise of how good things came about when three guys with um, really unique ideas and unique musicianship you know tend to do something all different on stage but it all comes out really good and Twain Deluxe um, sort of kind of cashes in a little bit on the Bakersfield sound and just different um, sounds of um, the driving honky-tonk beat from the west coast uh, country sound in the mid-sixties Well, the new single, On the Eve, uh, for Twain's uh, offic first official release is a song that we wrote um, for the late, great William Jennings. Um, it, you know, it's a song that really um, emphasizes um, the life of Waylon, but not just the life of Waylon, but what he stood for, you know, going against the grain, being the outlaw to where it seems like everybody is kind of doing now, but Waylon was the first to do it. And how he went up against the industry on doing his own songs, how he wanted to do his own song, using his own live band to go into the studio to cut records. And a lot of the records that he cut at that time literally were just drums, bass, and his guitar. So a lot of you know that uniqueness is um, captured in our song, um, New Wayland Order. Um, certain verses and um, certain choruses that we did write about is things that we've gone through ourselves, you know, as individuals and as uh, musicians. And I, what I really like about the song is it, it has been, you know, received really well by the audience and musicians alike. And basically, you know, it's a song that, you know, speaks about um, truth in life. And, you know, it's really about, you know, going against the industry and the establishment and saying, you know, if he could do it, we can. And the song, you know, the title, New Wayland Order, is really, you know, three strong words to where we wanted to actually keep Wayland's name in there. And you know, NWO, people talk about the New World Order, you know, but, you know, this is the New Wayland Order, you know, really taking a stand for what you believe in and literally going out there and doing it. It's what we need. 